Big story at 10, Green Bay's Housing Authority properties are now smoke-free. Administrators made the change to provide healthier living areas, reduce the risk of fire, and decrease maintenance costs. But some people are not supporting the ban. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live in the newsroom to explain. Alex? Well, Stacey, tenants who smoke now have to do it at least 25 feet away from the building. Some are grateful for that. Others, not so much. At Mason Manor, a retirement community, some say there's not much to complain about. Love living here. But for Lynn Zanish, rooms had been smoked in. That wasn't always the case. Yeah, I, I really don't like the smell. Now lighting up is forbidden inside the manor, along with 50 other low-income homes and duplexes in Titletown. We'll be good for this place. This past summer, Green Bay's Housing Authority made the change, and the administrator, Robin Hallett, has gotten positive feedback. The way society is headed right now with the state of Wisconsin going smoke free, many other states going smoke free. But at the manor, not happy. If you head 25 feet away from the building, it's not what I signed up for. The smokers are singing a different tune, worried about an approaching winter. We're going to have to learn how to dress warm or not come out and don't smoke. Still, they obey. Not the end of the world. Because nobody wants to face the consequences. Now, what those consequences are, if a tenant gets caught smoking, their first offense is a $100 fine, a second offense is a $150 fine, and that third time is $200, and they could face termination. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Alex Hagan, NBC 26.